Yes. Christopher they, just drove by the house, by the way. Dawson wanted me to snitch on him. Oh, yeah, he took my car. Yeah. yeah. He, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't even wave to us. Oh, well, he's a snob. <laughs> yeah, we were, we, Dad and I both waved at him, and he just turned his head. <laughs> I taught him well. <laughs> I think all the kids are about... How old is how old's Dawson now, Janice? He's 18. 18, yeah, I am. Just the right age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, well, I'm recording. I might as well start here, and I'll just kind of watch it. And if anybody comes in, I'll just let them in, and then I'll pop the recording back on your Facebook event. And if anybody wants to get back together, uh, Christine, then we can totally do it. I apologize for the, this, the crazy weather that's out there. That was nuts. And we're right on the 44 line, so which is actually really good because we're the first ones back on too. When we're when we're off, we're the first ones back on. Plus, we have a little Hydro One connection in the house, so they're honking as they're going by the house. <laughs> oh, so it's really good. Yeah. So thank you everybody for coming on to hear about Enyo, which I'm not sure if everyone has heard. Some of you have heard about Enyo, maybe some haven't. Um, if you have any questions, please, you can unmute yourself actually. And maybe if you mute yourself now, that would be okay. Um, and then if you have any questions, then just unmute yourself and ask me or type it in the chat because I can watch that as I go along as well. So tonight we're going to do um, a little bit of a cleaning class actually. I'm just going to give you a little bit of um, how annual works because that's really the most important thing um, and then we'll get right down to uh, some of the different zones and I'd ask Christine what we should talk about and Windows was a popular one for sure um, the specials just came out for September which is today September 1st and the floor system is in there on special so I should really talk about that just in case anybody um, is wanting to do that and after this i will put up all kinds of stuff on the facebook event page just so that you can um kind of understand the pricing so so my name is Lori Convey. Uh, I've been a hygienist for 26 years, which is quite a long time. Um, but I was very afraid of Enyo. Uh, when my girlfriend invited me to her home demonstration, I actually did not want to go. Uh, I had used all kinds of things in the past from chemical cleaners, of course. I mean, everyone under the rainbow, I mixed them together uh, also, which is something that you shouldn't do, but I did that to get my bathroom clean. Uh, I also went down to the green products that were out there in the market that started coming out uh, quite a while ago, and um, they just really smeared stuff around and didn't do much. So I thought, oh, I'm going to go down to vinegar and baking soda because lots of people were doing that. Um, so I mixed and concocted all kinds of things, and all I got was residue in my bathroom, and my entire house smelled like fish and chips. And because vinegar is an acid, uh, I corroded the backs of my taps and I started pulling the finish off my floor because when you put vinegar on something and you don't wash it off with soapy water, uh, it sits there and it can corrode a lot of things, which I had no idea what I was doing. So um, at that point, I went right back into chemicals because I want it clean, I want it fast because I was the main cleaner in the home. We live on a full-time farm. Um, kids, you know, you know, you guys all know the drill about uh, how life goes. I want it clean and I want it fast. So uh, when my girlfriend actually asked me to come to her annual demonstration, I literally said, no thanks. Uh, but she said something very important to me. She said, it's mechanical cleaning and you should come see it. Uh, and that really clicked in my head because as a dental hygienist, I mechanically clean people's mouths all day long. Uh, I don't kill any bacteria. I don't kill a virus. I don't kill any of that. I actually take very tiny engineered instruments and I go underneath the gum tissue and I just pull it all out so that infection goes away and tissue heals. Uh, and that's mechanical cleaning. So when I went to this home demonstration, because that's how you, you hear about Enyo, whether it's on Zoom or in the home, uh, I was actually pretty wowed, I have to say. Um, and uh, it came with a 60 day money back guarantee, which it still does. And that is actually why I purchased it <laughs> because I thought I was just gonna send it all back. I, I honestly and truly did not think it would work here at the farm. Um, and not only does it work, but I've been using it now for 11 years at our farm and we are an annual pure farm, which means that uh, I use no chemicals 
no vinegar, nothing to clean everything on our farm. I cleaned a 1950s tractor with just cold water and our annual fibers. So with our septic system down below, whether you have one or not, um, the sending dirty water down there actually feeds the bacteria environment. So my husband was really happy uh, because I wasn't sending any chemicals down there to kill and up to kill bacteria and upset the environment. Um, so our septic system hasn't been pumped in years. And the last time it was, it was maybe, I think it was about 10 years ago we had it pumped and there was nothing there to pump because the bacteria was so good because I wasn't killing anything anymore. I was just sending down our drains dirty water, which is really awesome. So how does it work? Uh, I'm pretty science-based. Uh, so I had asked for all the studies and all that kind of stuff, even though I never asked Mr. Cleaner Lysol for a study. For some reason, I wanted to see the, the studies with Enyo, I guess because I just couldn't believe it, uh, that it would work. We only use water with the fibers unless we're in rust or calcium or something like an oven that we're trying to clean. And then we introduce a little plant-based helper or a helper that has marble in it. Uh, so we're pretty much water and fibers. Um, and I usually talk about how it works by comparing it by comparing it to um, just everything else that we use in the home. So, like I said, I used chemicals, I used green products, I used vinegar and water. Those are all products. So, when you use a product, you have to pour it on your surface or spray it down on your surface. But 98% of the surfaces in our home have all these little micro pores. So, our surfaces are not flat. They look like this, maybe not as big as this, but I just like to use my hands so that I can kind of show everybody what I mean. So down here in the pores is where all your dirt, your grime, your bacteria lives. It feeds on anything. So bacteria in the mouth grows every 24 hours. And of course, we're feeding everything in our mouth. So the bacteria is multiplying very, very quickly. On our surface, it could be food. Um, it could be dead bacteria. It could be dirt and dust mites that it's feeding on. Most importantly, it could be product residue because when we pour a residue on or spray a residue on, we have to let it sit and it's got to sit for a kill. Um, for example, Lysol wipes. You have to keep your surface wet for four to 10 minutes before it kills everything. And then what we don't do is what it says on the back of the label, but it says to take a cloth and go over top of that surface with warm soapy water to try to remove the product that we've put back on the surface. But even if we do that, usually a flat cloth is what we use and we're going above the pores of the surface. So we're surface cleaning every time we clean with a flat cloth. So what's left down here is probably dead bacteria. If you've left the chemical long enough, you've got to read the back of your label for that. Um, but product residue is what sits down here. And new bacteria growth, it will eat it as food and it will just repopulate itself. Not only that, it's now becoming resistant to what we're using in our homes to kill everything because it's eating it as food. Um, and even Lysol wipe says 99.9% .9 kill rate. What it's killing is the good easy bacteria, the probiotic bacteria, whether it's on our skin, if we're not using gloves to use a Lysol wipe, and also in our home, what it doesn't kill, that 0.01% or whatever it is, is the strong stuff. It's the bad bacteria that just says, ha ha, Lysol, you didn't kill me. I'm going to sit here and eat the dead bacteria and eat the product residue and get stronger and stronger. So we are, we are without realizing it, creating superbugs in our homes. And that's why products will switch out their line. They, they discontinue a chemical, and bring a new one in because they they realize that we're creating all these superbugs. Not only that, all the volatile organic compounds that we're now breathing in and touching on our surface with our skin, uh, and we're going to run into some pretty big problems um, shortly. Uh, in February, um, the asthma rate for children was 16% in Canada, and I bet you any money uh, when school gets back in. Um, next, this coming February, I'm, as I'm guesstimating it's going to be doubled because of all the volatile organic compounds that are going to be pushed and smeared around the schools. Those windows will not open and those children will be just breathing in all the chemicals. So I'm, uh, unfortunately, we're going to really be creating some problems. So that is product cleaning. 
Enyo does not kill anything. So we actually can't say that we kill, we can't say we disinfect, we are not saying that we sanitize because those words are actually connected to a chemical, to a product. Um, but what we do do is six times better. I don't know if, you, if anybody got to watch the Hans Hirschman study that I put up. It's near the beginning of the feed on the event page. But it's the Austrian um, health inspector for the hospitals. And he takes a Luma tester, which is what I use in the dental office. I used it today. It's very expensive to use. But you, um, you put it in the machine, you take it out, you take a sample. And in the dental field, we take a sample on the inside of six teeth. We pop it back in. If you watch the study, you'll see them use it, and it will read out exactly how many bacteria. Today, I got up to 6,529 bacteria on the inside of six teeth. That is what I work in every day. <laughs> so Enyo actually takes that lumen tester to test the surfaces. So what it does is we take a fiber that's actually engineered to clean. So our water is actually just a surfactant. It just moves things around. It's actually the fiber that does the cleaning. So this is not a flat cloth. It is very, very thick. It's unlike anything out there on the market. Um, and what we do is we pop this glove on our hand so that our hand is flat. We're going to put a little bit of water on here or you can wet the entire thing. If it's too wet, you are going to take it and roll your fiber and just give it a really good squish so that the water doesn't drip down your arm and make it annoying. Uh, pop it back on your hand and then you're going to do exactly like you when you're brushing your teeth, light circular motions, <laughs> light circular motions with your Enyo. This happens to be the bathroom fiber. But what happens with these little tiny Enyo text fibers that are on here is they go down into the pores of the surface and they pull everything up. So they don't kill anything and leave anything down there. They just pull it right off the surface. And what will happen is you'll see water left on there. And that is why we have a flat brine cloth. So this is what I, I used to clean with. It wasn't an annual one, it was a cheap one from uh, China. There's lots with silver in them, but the majority of them are very, very flat. And all that we do with this is we go over top of the surface to just draw up the water so that your surface is six times cleaner. So the glove actually pulls up the, the food for bacteria, the product residue, the yuck, the oil, the grease, everything that's down in the pores, leaving water behind, and our drying cloth just dries and shines. And when you put those two things together, you actually have a surface that's six times cleaner. And I, I was shocked the first time I used it. I don't know if anybody else can attest to this, but you get shine almost instantly back. Um, my bathroom was the one of the worst areas to clean because we have very hard water and lots of dirt at our house. Um, but going over it the first time with my Enyo, I was speechless. Not only that, I didn't have to open up the window. I could breathe while I was doing it. My kids were around. And it only took me about probably 10 to 15 minutes to clean my bathroom because you start with your sink, your taps, your sink, your countertop, you're cleaning with your glove dry behind and then you hit your bathtub clean dry behind shower clean dry behind oh there's julie i'm just gonna let her in and then you go to the outside of your toilet outside you're going to clean dry behind then i'm just going to grab the rest of the bathroom zone here it comes with a little scrub so you can see that the sun side is actually the strongest side on our annual fibers but it has a scrub side that is really good for tile with grout and to get down into um, maybe tracking or if you've got some calcium this is an actual good one to really um, kind of power through that calcium so I would use this on um, on those areas and then the inside of our toilet, I use what's called a toilet fiber. So I use no product in the toilet anymore. Hi, Julie. I hope you can hear us. <laughs> no product in the toilet because our toilets are cold. So the fiber, again, is what does all the cleaning. So I just go dip it down. If you've got urine on the outside, grab it with this. Grab it down beside the toilet. And then away you go inside the bowl. Um, the bowl is actually kind of shaped like this. 
uh, before it goes down to the gooseneck, I usually push it up like this, then push it down so that I can continue around the rest of the bowl. It actually pulls pour deep everything off. I send it down into the septic system, which is really good because that's what feeds your septic system. I tap it off, I put it in a yogurt container, and then I paddle it off with my little caddy to the next bathroom. So it's very, very quick. We have four bathrooms in this house, and I use one annual bathroom zone. This, this lasts three years for me, and I can go from bathroom to bathroom. And then when this is dirty, because after four bathrooms, it's dirty, even after one bathroom, uh, if you've got one, I would tend to wash this after that. So washing Enyo is actually like washing your hair. So you wash your hair with hot soapy water. We're going to wash our Enyo with hot soapy water as well. We're not going to put, put any bleach on it, um, no fabric softener, and then everything is hanged to dry. So it's got to be a hot soapy water. They say about 60 to 80 degrees. And really, honestly, you can use really any soap you want. Um, Enyo has plant-based soaps, and actually it's on the customer special this month. So this is our laundry liquid. This is 300 mils. This is 60 loads of laundry for me because I'm only using one teaspoon in my front load machine. So it's good for high efficiency as well. Um, and then I send it in the, in, the, um, in the washing machine and then I take it out and Enyo's got all these really big tags. Not only do they say Enyo made in Austria, which nothing says, everything says made in China these days, <laughs> um, but your washing instructions are actually on the back and it says bathroom as well so that you know that you're in the right zone, hang it up to dry, and then you've got a clean kit sitting underneath your sink, which is really awesome. Another customer special that I'm just gonna talk about quickly because we're on the bathroom zone is this. I have not even tried this yet. But this is the bathroom, the toilet fiber. Same fiber, only it's on a flexi. So check this out. So now we can go really far down into the gooseneck to clean and we can flex it in any way we want. Then to take it off, we just take it off like this and pull it off. And then we're going to send that into the washing machine. The bathroom really freaked me out, I have to say, uh, a long time ago. It doesn't freak me out anymore because I've seen the studies that say our kitchen um, fridge handles are dirtier than our toilets, which I do, I do believe that. <laughs> um, but I was always taught that I had to kill everything in that toilet. Um, but now uh, I realize that I was never washing my brush that sat in a little bowl or a little cup by the toilet in blue water. Uh, it stayed dirty for the three years that it sat there. <laughs> so now um, I actually just take the fiber off, wash it, and then everything's clean sitting under there. So any questions? I'm just gonna stop for a second because I wanna know if there's any questions and make sure that I explained all that okay. Let me get this back. We good? Okay, so let's talk about um, let's talk about windows because windows are extremely daunting. We can do windows a couple different ways with Enyo. I'm just going to grab our living zone. So Enyo puts everything into zones. You'll see different zones here. So we've got bathroom, living, kitchen, floors, and actually skincare. So we're cleaning our skin with no soap, no body wash, no toner, no cleanser, no makeup remover, nothing, just water and fibers that are actually dermatologist tested to five stars. They put everything in zones for a really good reason. They actually put them on sale when they do that because they give you every tool that you need um, to clean in that area of your home. So our living zone is very, very different. It comes with three gloves that do all the cleaning and it comes with one drying cloth, which is usually all you need. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna walk through this and I'll leave the window thing for last and then we'll go on to that. So the first fiber that you see is orange. It's very, very different. It's got dark fibers running through it which are polishing fibers. There's nothing in the fiber. It's actually the way it's engineered that it will clean. So this is our dust fiber, and I put a couple of dusting videos up because it blows my mind when I dust all the time. Pop it on your hand, 
they say that you really don't have to give this a rub, but I've been rubbing this thing for 11 years, so I'm just gonna keep doing what I do normally. But it just creates a little bit of a static on here. And then just start dusting. I dust the back of the toilet, dust your bathtub if it's not dirty, if it's just dusty. Um, dust inside the car, all your technology, your plants, dust, everything, wood, glass, the whole nine yards. When this is full, you're going to take it outside and you're just going to beat it out into the environment, which is where all that dust should be going. And then I static it again and just keep on dusting. So that is our dust glove. Mine, I replaced after about eight years because you really don't have to wash this very often. Um, and, and our replacement value is usually on um, how many times it's being washed. You guys are having quite a light show. Oh, yeah. Lightning. I'm watching, I'm watching it in That's crazy. So that's our duster. All of our dusters work the same, whether it's a dust flexi that gets underneath the stoves and on top of refrigerators and flexes to get ceiling fans or behind things that you don't want to move. I did a great video on getting underneath the desk with this guy, or whether it's our dusters with our, with our floors, they all work the same way, okay? And with the floor, I'll go over that in a minute, but I just take it outside with my hands like this, and I just beat it outside like that, pop it back on my floor system, and away I go. So you're cleaning, you're dusting in the home, it's drawing everything into the fibers and these dusting fibers are actually tested for allergens we want to know if it's picking up allergens not just big chunks of hair which is beautiful on um, i always say if you if you're a pet owner you need this duster this dusting system but what happens when you're dusting and cleaning with enyo is your house actually stays cleaner longer because you're not smearing around any residue for bacteria to eat and grow really really quickly you're actually removing everything. So there's nothing on your surface that new bacteria will, will start to eat to grow. So it's pretty cool when you start switching things over and your home stays uh, actually less dusty, if that's a phrase. My home is less dusty because I'm cleaning with Enyo not spraying something on and pushing the spray in so that new dust can actually grab back onto it. I'm pulling everything in the fiber, bringing it outside, done. So the other two gloves in our living zone are, they look like this. So normally the darker the fiber with Enyo in the zone, the stronger the fiber. So let's talk about this guy first. This is our textile glove and I put a couple of videos on cleaning fabrics. Um, and we're talking any fabrics or any textiles, anything from leather to microfiber couches and chairs to leather boots and shoes to suede. I've done suede purses with this. I've done a cream prom dress that had taco sauce dipped down the front like 15 minutes before they left for the prom. So again, we're going to put cold water on this. Uh, and we're going to roll it to make sure that we don't have too much water. You can actually spritz it with your water bottle as well. And then on your fabric, you're just going to follow the grain and do a little bit of light circular motion. I think I put the video, Christine, on cleaning white leather furniture. Um, same deal, cold water, away you go. And then if you're doing big furniture, I usually suggest that you get just a big towel set it on the cushion or whatever you've done and push down on the towel. You just want to draw any water that this is put on it. Um, so you're cleaning your fabrics inside the car, uh, leather seats or fabric seats. It's incredible. I've even done like spots on carpets and, and oil on runners from our back door from everyone coming in the barn. So it's a really great glove to have on hand and it comes in your living zone. The other glove actually is for windows, but not just windows. Um, let's talk wood, any wood trim, any wooden thing that you're going to clean, because we're going to put water on this and clean it. Um, let's talk about banisters coming downstairs and the walls with greasy handprints. This is what you're going to use. You're going to use this for your screens. You're going to use it for windows. You're going to use it for doors, any high touch areas the keys of your keyboard, um, your mouse, your light fixtures, the steering wheel of your car, <laughs> all of that. Um, and again, we put water on this, give it a roll, and then just start cleaning. It does have two sides. 
And I usually say this is your soft side. And then wherever you see a sun like this is your strongest fiber. Um, and I usually just flip the gloves around to tell you the truth. Um, if one side's not working for me, I just flip it around and I use the other side. Okay, so we're going to clean with the glove and then we're going to dry behind with our drying cloths. Now, if you are in a home that has a lot of windows, um, well, like most homes that have a lot of windows, I usually suggest our window system. Now, I have to tell you, I thought this was really dumb. <laughs> back when um, I refused to purchase it because I thought oh yeah I'm doing my windows with this this is really great and then I became an annual consultant about six years ago and I thought okay well now I have to buy this and see how it works I cannot live without this this is speed and this is streak free windows with very few drawing cloths because as you know when you're cleaning a window you clean it, it's wet, and then you're going to dry it behind and your drying cloth gets really wet. So I actually had the living zone, so I'm still gonna bring this glove out. I'm going to do the tracking, I'm going to do the wood around the windows, I'm going to do the screens, because this is so beautiful on screens. And then for my window, I'm going to use this. This is the same fiber, okay, on both. There's a little button here that you can push to take your squeegee out and you pop it back in. So I'm going to clean my window this way and then I turn it around, I squeegee my water down. Now, this is not your regular squeegee. I used to have to push, I used to have the dollar store ones and you just push like crazy and drag it down your window. You actually let this very lightly come down your window. I have my drying cloth to mop up your, my water and then, all that I'm, or sorry, my glove to mop up the water and clean the tracking. And then all that you're doing with your drying cloth is you're going around the outside of the window. So you can do 10 to 15 windows with one drying cloth and these two guys. When they get filthy dirty, just rinse them in cold water and then keep on going until they're, you're done all your windows. Then you're going to wash your system with hot soapy water. So there's a little um, snap that this comes off. And, uh, and then that's what I put in. You can hand wash it or you can put it in the washing machine as well. I just lent my system out to my Amish friend, Martha, where I get my eggs because we don't have chickens on this farm. And she, she called me, borrowed her husband's phone, <laughs> called me and talked 500 miles an hour because she could not believe how clean her windows were fast. So she literally did, before 8 o'clock in the morning, she did the whole main floor of her house, of course. And then she went to work at the, um, we have a fabric store just up the road. She did all of those windows, and then she went back home and finished the top. And she said, my husband came in and he, he said, oh my gosh, your house is so clean. And she said, he's never said that to me. <laughs> so I just thought that was pretty amazing. Now, the other great thing about the window system is that if you have windows that you can't reach or you need a ladder uh, or if there's any um, um, shrubs or anything like that around, the floor system handle pops out, it comes off the plate, and then this gets put on here so that you've got a six foot reach so no ladders anymore and because the system is so light you can actually run it no problem almost with one hand so you've got your squirt bottle that will spray a story um, you'll spray it down and then you're going to pop this on there's a little e-clip right here on there that we just push off like that and then I pop this on my floor system. I line up my holes and then you pop your e-clip back in so that it's steady on there and then you're ready to go. Uh, I also take this off to clean the awning of the trailer because we have a fifth wheel and I don't want to be on the, on the ladder at all. So I just pop it up with a water hose. I used to use spray nine. <laughs> so it's pretty cool when you can get down to just water and a fiber to do that. Okay, so let me put this back on. Are we doing okay, guys? We're doing okay for time. Any questions? Nope. Well, you're doing awesome. Okay, I'm going to talk about the floor system, if that's okay, only because it's on sale this month.
Um, the floor system, and you will put a sale on, the floor system comes on sale usually only once a year, um, and it's now, or um, it's always on sale when you host your own uh, cleaning class because we've got a great host program as a thank you for uh, hosts helping us with, um, with Canada's environment and the health of their friends and family. So you can actually um, get up to $175 off, which is really great. So our floor system, it's a little bit tricky with my same thing. I'm just gonna turn this down, if that's okay. There we go. So the floor system is actually meant to be run with your feet. So I'm going to run this with my hands, just so that you can see it. But there is a lock right here, this yellow. So when that lock is up, that means that your handle is stuck in there. Um, and then what happens is you can twist this handle lefty loosey, righty tighty, so that it's uh, it goes up to. I wish I'm, I'm going to try to stand up. If you guys are okay with that, so that you've got it coming up to your. How about we do this? Hold on. <laughs> We're really tall so I can actually have this down really low or I can have this at a six foot reach when I'm washing floors so that it's way out in front of me normally though when I'm dusting we usually have the handle about chin chin height so that you're you're not bent over like this or this when you're cleaning we want to stand up so that we are moving the floor system really really gently around on the floor Okay, let me sit back down here. This is the tricky part of a zoom. <laughs> okay, so then when you're ready to put a fiber on, so our duster fibers, I usually, well, I always suggest that people are dusting prior to cleaning their floors um, because this picks up so much more than a vacuum. It's really incredible. So, what you want to do is you want to put your lock down so that your plate stays flat. There are two little paddles here. One says closed and one says open. And with your foot, you're going to push down on the open. Of course, there we go. And then you're going to pop it onto your thing, just like this. And then we're going to close it up so that it's on there. Now the floor system will stand up on its own when it's locked in this position. But when you're ready to dust your floor, pull up on your lock so that you've got motion and movement with your, um, with your handle, okay? And then to wash your floor, we're going to open this. Sorry, I've got it on a box that's not really great. I'm just gonna use my foot. There we go. So we're going to open the paddle. And then there's two fibers actually. So this fiber is a soft fiber. It is for very, very flat, hardwood, um, anything with very little texture in it. And I usually wet about one third of this and leave two thirds dry. And I take a spray bottle and just spritz it on the floor so that as I'm pulling my floor system through it, it's actually washing and drying at the same time. And then this fiber is our medium fiber. It actually has very different fibers in here that you can feel when you push up the wrong way. And it's going down into more textured flooring uh, tile with grout. Um, it's very good to clean. Our fibers actually go all the way up to cleaning concrete, cleaning composite decking, wood decking. Um, but the basic fibers that you need in your home are either your medium for tile with grout and textured surfaces or the flat one for very flat hardwood. And then of course the dusting, the dusting fiber. Okay, I'm gonna pop that down. Here we go. So, okay, any questions? <laughs> you guys are so quiet. <laughs> any questions out there? Nope? Okay, one more little thing to go over. Um, I know that the girls really use the skincare line. The skincare, oh, Christine back again, I'm just gonna let her in. So our skincare line is dermatologist tested to five stars. 
Um, it comes with a bunch of things and you can buy everything separate, but these are soft fibers for going around the eyes to remove makeup, um, to take itch out of mosquito bites. You can use it on your pet's eyes and ears, but what it does is it actually will physically exfoliate and clean the skin uh, with only water on the fiber. The next one up is a face glove. So there's a couple different colors. And remember I said the stronger the, the fiber, the darker the color. So your next fiber up is your face glove and it does some great exfoliating on your skin. Also, if people are wearing a lot of makeup, this is a great one to get things off and to be cleaning. Also teenagers with acne. Um, this has had some really great success rates with just water on the skin because it's cleaning the skin without changing the pH level or leaving a product on the skin to actually feed new bacteria growth and clog pores. So we really have to remember light circular motions when you're using these. On the other side, as with all of the skincare, is the same fiber as the little eye pads. So it is a gentle fiber that's to be used around the eyes. So I love it that they've put it on all of them because you can do your eyes and then flip it around for um, an exfoliation and to clean the skin. These fibers are our strongest ones with our skincare. This is what we use in the shower, actually. So we're only cleaning our skin with water. Um, it doesn't have to be cold like the rest of Enyo because we're in cold water when we're cleaning. But what it is is warm water coming out. Um, but again, the fiber is exfoliating every time it's on the skin without changing the pH level. It actually brings our blood to the surface and increases circulation. So these have been amazing fibers for eczema. I've seen quite a bit of psoriasis. Um, not totally go away, but psoriasis that was all over the arm go down to one little patch on the elbow with no other creams. So again, you're cleaning the skin instead of just putting another product on the skin. Okay, and that's that. So there is always so much to talk about with Enyo, <laughs> but I'm going to stop there because it's 9.30 and I don't want to keep you guys too long, but I do want to open it up for any questions that you have. And then um, I can put up some prices and um, we can do some, some chatting about that as well, if you want. Are you there, Christine? I am. Um, I had got kicked off there because of the uh, lightning. Oh man. So I got back on now. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know one little hint that I've done too is is when I bought my first fibers, I, I put them in the cupboard where I kept all my cleaning stuff and I kind of forgot about them and stopped using them. But I, I've since got them out and I actually leave them hanging in my bathroom and I use them all the time now. So that's just a little hint. Um, yeah, good for you. The other thing that I would suggest to people too is if they do get the annual fibers, what I did was I took out everything from underneath my cupboards. So get down on your knees. I don't usually tell people to get on their knees, but get on your knees and into your cupboards and get a big cardboard box and pull everything out. You'll have stuff in there that's been in there for 10 years that you haven't used. Multiple probably cleaning products pull it all out, put it out in the garage where the dogs and the kids can't get into it. It's called the cupboard clean out. And then substitute all of it for the zone of the fibers. And, um, and just see what you're missing. It was really remarkable. I was missing very, very little. It was amazing. Anything else? Paula? I have a question, yeah. Yes. Um, what do you recommend for fly poop in the house? I just, I just always am cleaning that up. It feels like every week. <laughs> Me too. So I'm just going to go back to the living zone here. Yeah. So I would recommend your dark glove. So wood walls, windows, screens, all your hard surfaces. This is beautiful on walls. I used to use a magic eraser. Took the paint off because it's got formaldehyde in it. <laughs> so substitute all that with this glove okay okay if it's out if it's outside are you talking about outside fly poop or inside fly poop no inside but yeah there's some outside i guess yeah even ceilings 
um, ceilings and light fixtures and pop lights on the ceiling. This is yeah. Take it off. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. On the outside, there's an outdoor and yo kid. I won't even talk about it tonight. It's actually good for another night, but um, but I use all that outside on fly coop. I actually have a great video on. <laughs> I've got one door into the shed that's usually cut. Like you can't see out of it because there's so much fly poop. And um, I take the window system out just to see how fast I can clean it. So I'll try to find that video and pop it into this into this event, if that's okay. And then you can see how fast it works. <laughs> Thank you. Great question, yeah. And I, I think the video is entitled, The Girl Can Only Take So Much Fly Poop. I think that's what, <laughs> that's what I titled it, because <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Janice, any hints or tips that you've got out there? Are you still with us? I am. Sorry, I've got my glasses off because I'm looking at the catalog and I'm looking at what I still need in my house because I uh, I had Lori here. Lori and I have known each other since high school and uh, she's absolutely bang on when she talks about the mechanical cleaning and the benefits that uh, NEO has to your home and I have benefited greatly from that and I just uh, let Christine use the floor zone at her place and I love it. I, that's certainly something I enjoy and the bathroom and the windows. So I re highly recommend it and uh, I know I love the laundry soap as well and so I'm putting my little list together here Lori of things that and I know that I shared with you that I wanted the flexi unit, um, the dust flexi unit that, I, that was on my list. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The dust flexi too. You know, it's something because I always think of ceiling fans when I used to see the dust flexi, because we always used to clean, clean ceiling fans. So when I got it, I thought, well, what am I going to use this on? I don't have any ceiling fans. Well, <laughs> this is amazing for underneath pianos. If you've got really low profile furniture that you can't get anything else underneath there this little guy goes right under it actually fits on the floor pole as well it's just a quick twist and the handle comes off and then you can put the floor system handle on it so that then you've got a six foot reach um, mm -hmm. or you can stand up and pop it on the floors going underneath your furniture without yeah. getting on your hands and knees again and it was about really watching our posture and as a hygienist, it's drilled into us because we're in very weird positions when we work all the time. Um, but you don't have to be in a hygienist to be talking about posture, right? Every, everyone's got to think about your posture. So if you can think about posture with your hand, getting into a glove that's actually ergonomically correct, standing up, doing your floors and watching your posture and not getting on ladders and things like that, if we can kind of get rid of that stuff uh it not only makes life easier uh, but it makes things quicker and also safer mm -hmm. so cool good any other questions for me the flexies they're all different lengths they're not interchangeable then um the dust flexi is the same length the bathroom flexi is shorter it's much shorter actually okay. And I have to tell you, this is brand new. So, uh, and you know, Canada gets everything from Austria and they've got some really cool things over there because I've been to Austria with this company four times uh, to see where everything's made and sourced ethically and all the rest of it. Um, I have never held one of these in my hand until tonight. I actually just opened it out of the box. <laughs> so uh, the other thing that they brought in, which was fun and last month, I can't even order it. It's a kitchen flexi and it is the same size as this. Um, they've just put a bathroom fiber. They've made a bathroom fiber on it, but your desk flexi is probably twice as big. Yeah. I would so say you can't, so you can't order the kitchen one anymore, Lori. I can't even order it. Okay. No, no. Um, unless something happens, they just brought it in as a promotion. Um, but as far as I know, they're not going to bring it in. I don't know. It, it could change their mind. You never know what Trish will do. She's got full control. <laughs> and I am a good friend, so I could put a little request in. But, but as far as I know, yeah, not, not yet anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, but the dust flexi, 
Awesome. There's also a living fiber that goes on this. It's a blue fiber. So remember the dust is done dry and then your living fibers, which are like your, your blue living fibers in the living zone, blues for water. So you would put water on that. So for example, my fridge, I've got a set of cupboards that come out at the top of the fridge and I can slide this in and dust not only the top, but the bottom as well. And then I take this fiber off and I'll pop the living fiber on wet, and then I can actually wash it and clean it, clean the sides, clean the bottom. So the living fiber is a good little fiber as well to go on, and it fits on the large dust flexi. So it is the same size as the large dust It is the same size, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Good. Oh, it. If I usually suggest if people do anything like I didn't even talk about the kitchen zone, but if anybody gets the kitchen zone or the skincare zone, I usually suggest a bit of hand washing, whether you use a very clear soap at home that you have, or we've got an orange blossom washing up liquid. It is a plant based soap that I, um, I will hand wash my fibers with. I also use it as a pre treat for my laundry. I don't have shouted out anymore. I have a plant-based <laughs> soap that I pre-treat my stains. And then I also use this to wash my dishes. So hand washing, I'll just put about that much warm water. So no more buckets of hot water anymore, about this much warm water. And I just put a little, a uh, couple drops or a little squirt of my washing up liquid. And then I just clean my dishes with my kitchen zone in in, uh, in the kitchen. So that's another thing that you'll see. I'll put the link to the brochure up Christine as well. So people can uh, easily click on that and go and go into that. Hey, I'm just Lori, gonna, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Lori, I was just gonna say that probably a lot of the ladies that are along the farm line there, they have problems probably with calcium buildup in their bathrooms. And I know I've benefited even in Belgrave here with the calcium dissolver. So um, I know that it's been on my list of things to always buy whenever I place an order with you. So, yeah, so the fibers will not remove calcium or rust, but what they do do is they actually keep it from coming back pretty good, not all the time, but pretty good. So calcium, we do have a plant-based calcium dissolver. The acid is in the plant. And that is why it breaks through that calcium. And I usually say to put it on your bathroom scrub on your black side so that you can power through. And because it's plant-based, I usually say to leave it sit for about three to four minutes um, on the surface and then just cold water as usual and pop it off. If you've got a lot of calcium in your toilet, which I do, um, I clean my toilet with my, with my wand. And then I just put a squirt of the calcium dissolver in the toilet and I leave it sit. So I clean it, I send the dirty water down because my water's cloudy, and then I've got pretty much of a good clean toilet, but I put a drop of that calcium dissolver in so that it works on that. Rust is another thing that uh, we would have terrible rust in the farm here if I didn't have a deionizer, but our marble paste um, is crushed marble and chalk and it breaks through rust like that, it's crazy. So again, it's a hard puck, and I just add water onto my scrub, and then I power through that rust. I can put that video up, actually. I've done a couple of videos with, with rusty water. Um, and marble paste is not only for rust, it's actually to clean your oven. It's a stovetop cleaner. It acts like Gooby Gone. It will clean grout. It, um, it also, uh, did I say polishes silver? It's wherever you need an extra umph in cleaning. It actually works really well on uh, stainless steel appliances. If you need to break through a lot of product residue and a lot of handprints and stuff, normally the fiber will break through that. Um, but if you need an extra umph, you just put it on with your hand, actually, on the stainless steel appliances. Pull it off with your kitchen fibers and dry behind. And basically, those are the helpers with Enyo. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Okay, I love the dusting flexi. I've had it since we were married. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the dust flexi is incredible. Wow, 16 years. That's pretty awesome, Julie. That's good. And that's a testament to the, those dusting fibers. 
which is really awesome, which is what I said. They, your dusting fibers, you're not washing all the time, so they're lasting an awful long time. Um, they, they normally say about a three to four year use with Enyo, and that's with things that you use every day. So our skincare, my kitchen, I'm using every day, um, and I'm replacing some of those fibers about the three, three and a half year mark. But the dusting fibers, clean on, sister. <laughs> they're amazing. Good. I'm just going to stop the recording if that's okay, just so that, uh, there we go.